Hi there. In this video, you will see how to use the warehouse put away process through the capabilities of financials for Office 365. When setting up your warehouse, you make a number of different choices regarding how you want to operate and the level of detail and complexity you want to work with. The choices you make affect how you perform tasks in a program. One of these choices is how you want to put items away in your warehouse location. The warehouse putaways are used when the location is set up to require both warehouse receipt and warehouse putaway processing. This enables the user to put away items received from purchases, sales returns, transfers, or production output according to the defined warehouse activity flow. If you decide to organize and record putaway information with documents in the program, you place a check mark in the required putaway field on the location card. Watch the introduction to the location card video from the link in the description to find out more. When your location is set up to use put-away processing, but not receive processing, you use the inventory put-away window to organize the put-away information, which in turn posts the receipt information for the source document. If your location is set up to receive processing as well as put-away processing, the warehouse put-away functions similarly to the inventory put-away, that instead of posting the information, you can register the put-away. This could also be populated for multiple source documents. To have a further dive into the difference between the inventory putaways and the warehouse putaways, please watch the Lunch and Learn webinar on warehouse management from the link in the description to find out more. Let's hop into the warehouse putaway to see this functionality. In the warehouse putaway window, you can manage putaways for a specific warehouse receipt document covering multiple source documents, or can simply be generic based on your warehouse activity flow. As you see, it is very familiar to the warehouse receipt. With this put away, you can see how the portion of the items from this document have been put away. This was done by adjusting the quantity to handle field, like so. Let's register the put away. The received items are now available for picking to internal demand, such as assembly orders, or to external demand, such as sales shipments. You can utilize bin and zone tracking here within these fields. If you are unfamiliar with the bin and zone tracking within financials, watch the how to set up bins and zones in a location video from the link in the description. Note that registering the put away does not post the receipt of the items. It merely updates the bin content. You can view the registered put away information in the registered put away windows. If you have any questions while using financials for Office 365, you can click on the question mark for a Windows specific help page. If you want help with a field, click on the caption. Or a column, click on the heading and select help like so. Please make sure you watch how to use the warehouse receipt before watching this video.